And for millions, it began before the bird today, long before the Thanksgiving dinner. In fact, this Chicago Kmart opened before dawn this morning. And look at the lines right there before the doors were even unlocked. And then inside stores across America today, this is what it looked like already. Lines of customers, those carts right there full of presents. Tonight we have two teams on this. First, the unprecedented effort to keep customers safe this year from those scenes that have become all too familiar. ABC's John Schriffen is live at Macy's in Midtown Manhattan tonight. John, good evening. David, good evening. Security is a major concern, and police say they are doing all they can to make sure everything goes smoothly once these doors behind me swing open. It's the annual running of the holiday shoppers, and already things are getting out of hand. Mayhem at a California Kmart this morning when doors opened at 6 a.m. Push one of my kids, I will stab one of you. Exactly the sort of scene stores want to avoid. Last year, Connecticut police tased this Walmart shopper who resisted arrest after cutting ahead of 20 people in line. This fist fight broke out at an H&M in Culver City, California. The National Retail Federation expects up to 147 million people to be shopping this entire holiday weekend. So with the extra crowds out there, retailers all around the country are hoping for this. Nice, calm, orderly lines like the one here at the Apple Store on the iconic Fifth Avenue here in New York City. But police are leaving nothing to chance, knowing the lure of a holiday deal. They just forget about you know regular everyday courtesy and, uh, and sometimes go nuts. The Los Angeles Police Department is putting hundreds of extra officers on foot, on horseback, and in the air to monitor shopping crowds. Big stores like Best Buy have been preparing for days now, creating color-coded maps, moving merchandise around to ease congestion, and holding dry runs so employees can practice. Get people in safely and out safely uh, through the lanes, quick, fast, in a hurry so that they can get what they need. And the Mall of America has taken the additional step of banning teenagers from shopping alone on Black Friday. In fact, police say if you are shopping on Black Friday, leave the kids at home. They can easily get injured should something go wrong. David? But the kids aren't going to like hearing that. John Schriffen tonight, thanks so much.